All right, well, you can see my setup here for the next step in this process. I've got some distilled water in the squirters over there. I have our precipitated uh, silver with the muriatic acid. Uh, you can see in the bottom, and then I have the uh, remaining acid with probably some copper in there, I'm thinking, in the top. So I'm going to rinse that out, and I probably will do 15, 20 rinses uh, to get it nice and clean before we move on to the next step, which is why I have a gallon of distilled water here that I will probably go through quite a bit of it doing all these rinses. So uh, I'm going to do a time lapse because it's it's the same thing over and over, and we'll the the video will speed through this process. But when you do it yourself, um, just expect that it's going to take a while, and uh, it's not very not as entertaining as the first part, but it's got to be done to get a high purity. So I'll go ahead and start the rinsing process. So at this point, that first beaker has a lot of uh, the initial rinse in it, and I'm going to put some steel rods in there to try and recover, hopefully, some copper from that metal that we melted down. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll start uh, putting the rest of the rinse water into that other dirtier beaker, and that'll just be waste that I'll dispose of. Um, and we'll just keep rinsing our silver there to uh, get the purity up where we would like it. As you can see there, the uh, waste solution is getting less and less blue, which means our wastewater has less and less contaminant in it, the distilled water, so we're getting closer and closer to pure um, silver chloride, and it's also very white, the silver chloride, so that's what we want. Uh, I'll keep rinsing that, and then I also want to show you these steel rods. So when I first, hopefully that catches it, when I first showed them to the camera they were steel color of course, and you can already see that copper color coming in, so there is copper coming out of that solution, and steel is going into the solution, so I'll be able to get some uh, copper as well, pure copper, uh, from that waste solution over there before I dispose of it. satisfied there that's some pretty pretty clear rinse water and there's a silver chloride 
can see it's uh, pretty white there, pretty white. And so that'll dry out and then we will do the next step of the process to remove the chloride and just have pure silver precipitate. So that'll conclude this video on the refining process with nitric acid.